We've been updating you on this very uh, serious news and serious scenes at Arundel. Let's find out what the latest is. David Fulton. Yeah, thanks, Tony. Well, the good news is that things have improved um, for both men, Moises Enriquez and Rory Burns. The collision chasing both, one going out, one coming in, chasing a high catch. They collided. Both were unconscious for a period of time. Rory Burns took longer to come round. Um, they were both put on drips and fluids put into them. Um, the ambulances arrived very quickly on the scene. Two initially, the paramedics, the physiotherapists, um, and there were experts kind of on hand in, in, in a very short space of time. A third ambulance arrived and then uh, both players were on stretchers. Uh, Moises Enriquez when he went into the ambulance did give the crowd a little wave and there was a, a, a really good round of applause for that. Rory Burns didn't move uh, but uh, we've been informed by the chief executive of Surrey Richard Gould that uh, he too is now conscious and has been sitting up in the ambulance and his dad who was here watching the game has gone with him. They've gone to Chichester Hospital. Um, any more news on the, their condition we will bring it to you uh, but the good news is they're, un they're, they're both now conscious and they seem to be uh, improving. The game has been abandoned kind of understandably and that, when that was announced just about 30 seconds ago, that got a huge round of applause from the crowd as well. Normally, games get abandoned and the crowd are kind of disconsolate. I think everyone understood the seriousness of this situation and uh, we're almost mighty relieved that the game uh, was called off. So it'll be one point each, but uh, much more importantly, it looks like the players, what could have been very serious and still remains fairly serious, um, it looks like those players are improving. Any further news, obviously, we will bring it to you.